Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to review a product that I got off of Thomason at a discount. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the product that we have here today is a de shutter rake and comb. And there's the whoops brand. I'm going to take this out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rip that off. So you don't have like the plastic, the um, light bothering you guys. So it says it's a professional 2-in-1 pet grooming tool. You have a 30 degree um, flexibility for it. So it goes ahead and goes like this. So it's just easier to do shed your cat or your dog. Which is great. They can use it on both. So up here it just tells you guys. <clears throat> Whoops, you guys are getting the reflection from the light. Sorry about that. So up here it just tells you like it's stainless steel, it's not going to harm your dog's skin, um, you know, non-slip handle, and then all this right here, it tells you what you should do to like maintain your pet like its health. So you know like getting rid of your pet's falling hair and hairballs daily. Combing your pet, bathing your pet, catching fleas from your pet, trimming your pet's hair, cutting your pet's nails. And then you have a warning down here at the bottom. And it, so I'm not going to read one, two, or three. I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to number four. Because I think that's the most important one for this review. It says, please be careful when using this grooming tool. And avoid improper use, which could cause injuries to your pet. Now... The thing with that um, is it doesn't tell me anywhere on this paper how to use this tool. It doesn't say, you know, use it this way, you know, if your dog's fur is thicker or thinner or any of that kind of stuff on how to use the tools. I don't know why they said improper use because everyone's going to do improper use because they don't know how to use this tool. Even I don't know how to use this tool. I've had pets for so long. Um, so, yeah. There's the first issue. There's many more. Well, not many more. It's just a few more. So, okay. Um, okay, so you know, the handle's fine. Fits great. Yada, yada. 30 degrees. So you can go ahead and easily, like, go over your pet's bumps, you know, of their body and stuff. So, that's great. This, though... I don't even know how to use this. I've never had one like this before. It's, I mean, it's not like sharp. I mean, if you like put your finger and you like go across it, then yeah. Um, but it's not, doesn't, I don't know how to use it. So, yeah. I did go ahead and try and use it on my poodle. And right now my poodle, you know, got a haircut like a, f maybe like a couple months ago. So his fur is pretty short and he doesn't have like the, um, matting and the curliness of his fur yet so yeah I did this and it seemed like it was really pulling on his skin and I was like oh you poor thing like this is not a good tool for you and yeah so I mean even if I use it on my arm it hurts like I don't know if you guys can see that but it leaves like the lines from this on my skin like and it does turn it red so I can just imagine what's doing to you know the cats and dogs fur and skin so I don't know about that and I don't know how to use it because again it's not on the paper so now the next thing is this little guy right here and um, I did use this on you know same dog the poodle and it didn't really seem to like you know do much it didn't seem to do anything for his skin you know, get rid of matting I mean not matting shedding or anything like that and so what I was doing was so I you know I used this tool on him once and then you know I was like okay well let me go ahead and read up making sure I didn't like miss how to use this tool so what I did was you know I was reading it reading the paper and I simply did this, just like flick my wrist, with the tool in my hand. And this part 
flew off. Yep, it broke after the first use, and I didn't even use it on my dog for that long. It literally broke off. And the thing is, the glue seems very, very cheap inside. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it's just a very cheap type of glue that they used. And the thing is, I'm using it on my poodle, okay? You know, he doesn't have, like, very much de shedding to get done. But, you know, he has, you know, enough for me to go ahead and use a tool on him. My other dog, that's a Collie, he has a bunch of, like, matting and stuff by his behind area. And so I need to, like, de shed that a lot. So if I would have went ahead, use this tool, you know, the one that broke on me. If I were to use this part, what would have happened was it would not have been strong enough for his fur and it would have broke while I was grooming him. So I'm not happy with this product. I mean, you guys can imagine breaking on the first use, really. And it's not like I really, you know, did anything, you know, yeah, so I did that. But that should not have, that force shouldn't have, you know, made that broke break sorry because if you're de shedding your dog and your dog you know like say like you have like a knot it's gonna break so not very happy with this product I personally would not recommend it to you guys because you know it broke like seriously it should not be breaking like that but I mean if for some reason you guys do want to go ahead and check it out on Amazon or you want to purchase it you guys can buy it for $9.95 on Amazon. I will go and put the link for that down below so you guys can, you know, easily click to it and see what this is all about. Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you guys so much. Bye.